years, several years ago, we did a series of documentaries for television. We traveled all over the world seeing street magic, close-up magic in all different cultures. And just about everywhere we went, they, everybody did one trick the same. They did the cups and balls. Almost every magician we met did the cups and balls. And the trick around the world didn't change very much, but the props did. In India, they had these hand-carved wooden cups and these little flocked cork balls. In China, they had these metal cups that were handed down generation to generation. But Till and I were working for the United States of America, so we used red plastic cups. <laughs> and then we used aluminum foil balls. So we had the totally American and totally disposable cups and balls. And what goes like this, you take the ball, place it in our hand, vanish it, it appears underneath the cup. That's the way it's done all around the world. You take the ball, you place it in your hand, you vanish it, and it appears underneath the cup. Here's a little variation Teller came up with, where he takes the ball, places it in his hand, then shows it underneath the cup, that it still appears underneath the cup. So you have three cups, three balls. Now take that center ball, puts it in the center cup, two side balls, put them wherever you want, they still regroup the center cup. I come over here, just a little tiny bit of juggling. There's a giant ball the center cup, one more giant ball to either side, and of course for the finish, it's an American baseball! <laughs> now that we have done the American cups and balls for a while, we want to kind of zoom in and do a pen and teller cups and balls, which involves breaking a few rules of magic. Now the first rule of magic is you never do the same trick twice, so we're gonna. <laughs> Second rule of magic is you never tell an audience how a trick is being done. So we're going to tell you exactly how the trick is being done. The third rule of magic is you never let the audience see your secret preparation. They must not know what is hidden in which pocket. And the fourth rule of magic is unwritten, but we think any magician in the world would agree with us in a second, that you never ever do the cups and balls with clear plastic <laughs> cups. So here's the pen and teller version of the cups and balls. We do the first ball, pretend to place it in our hand, have already snuck it underneath the first cup. Do the second ball, simultaneously secrete it beneath the cup, put it in place in our hand and show it. Do the third and final ball, pretend to place it in our hand, pretend to show the cup, place it in the cup, then secretly secrete it and reveal it. Now we're all set for a second half, the cups all loaded, three balls on top. Set a ball, this is in a cup, each of the side balls where you put them away, we don't need any more, we have three duplicates. Set a cup, we can go over here. This is not juggling. This is called misdirection. For look over here, tells us his final ball under, one more to the side, and of course for the finish, it's an American baseball right there. That's the pen and teller cups and balls.